In this series, we have discussed the 50-year evolution and history of Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Inc. gang. But what we have yet to cover is the evolution of the characters' voices. In this video, we'll be focusing on the group's leader, Fred Jones. Fred is, in fact, an incredibly rare example of a decades-old character who has almost solely been voiced by the same actor for his entire existence. Beginning with the inaugural Scooby series, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Prolific voice performer Frank Welker has been the main and behind the ascot. Though Welker hasn't continuously voiced the character, given that some series were years or even decades apart, having performed for Fred over the course of 51 years, he's one of the longest serving voices for a single animated character in history. Rare examples of Fred being voiced by different actors include Carl Stevens' youthful take on the character in A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, Zac Efron's turn in the star-studded CG animated film Scoob, and Jim Wise's one-off singing performance in direct-to-home media film Music of the Vampire. Additionally, Fred has been portrayed in live action by Freddie Prinze Jr. in the two early 2000s theatrical Scooby-Doo films and Robbie Amell in the two late 2000s straight to home video films. While these videos usually give an interesting view on how different actors have performed or put their own spin on the same voice over time, that's not exactly the case here. However, what is interesting to take note of is how a single voice artist voices the same character over a number of decades. Take particular note in how Welker crafted and refined Fred's voice over the early series and how age has altered his sound, pitch and delivery in later years. Also note his attempts to make Friends sound more youthful youthful in some later series. In this video we will explore all the voice artists who have brought Fred to life in major productions, including television series, specials and films, but with major focus on Welker. Without further comment from myself, I will allow Welker and the other voice artists to guide you through Fred Jones's voice evolution in this companion edition of Cartoon Evolution. <laughs> Well, the name on the crate says Jameson Hyde White, Professor of Archaeology, London, England. Well, gang, it looks like we're up to our armor plates and another mystery. That settles it. There's something fishy going on in that museum. Really? Right, Scooby. Tonight, we're going fishing. Come on. we got to find Daphne. Come on, Scooby. Put your nose to work. Okay. It's solid. Now let's get up to that village. Okay, gang. Let's explore. But we're not gonna let that scare us. No, Shaggy. We're gonna solve this mystery. Come on. Let's see what he's up to. Well, if we're gonna find any ghosts, we better split up. Let's split up and search for this ape man who eats hamburgers. I think we better split up and try and find out where that moan came from. Let's split up and see if we can find this mysterious ghost from space. There's only one way to find out. Solve this mystery. Good going, Scoob. This ghost really doesn't need any introduction. As soon as we clean him up... I'm sure you'll recognize him. Boy, it was a neat setup. He and his gang were switching their fake pieces of art for the real ones in the museum. And when he saw us run aground, he wrote a threatening message trying to scare us away. They were the ones that hijacked the armored car and sunk it in the swamp. It says, help, I'm a prisoner in the candy factory, signed Cass Elliot. Let's search every corner. That grinding sound definitely came from in here. It's against the law to sell uranium to anyone but the government. And those ghosts were driving us away from the mine. That's the answer. Let's all get back there before the ghosts do. Huh? Well, let's find out who you are, Mr. Scarecrow. Siegfried posed as the ghost of the Red Baron and spooked the airport to scare away all the legitimate pilots. Surprise! At the sound of the chimes, the sound will be... will all be Mr. Meekly. Now, Mr. Meekly, I haven't figured out your game yet, but I warn you, I can use these in self-defense. My uncle was first symbolist in the Marine Corps band. He broke out of prison when he learned Aggie had found directions in his old spell book to the map in the cabin and planned to grab the money herself. Right. Let's help Shag and Scooby search below deck. When we find that out, we'll probably have the answer to this mystery. What are you two gonna do? Wear that costume home? <laughs> and a zillion gallons of milk! It all adds up to the solution to the mystery of the ghost of the demon shark. Now let's see if he's who we think he is. Three dots and two dashes. S.M. and Sawdust. That's it! Well, Shaggy, I think you've got your work cut out for you. Looks like Scooby's serious about this new career. Poor us! Without Scooby, we haven't got a show, Daphne. The ruby was hidden in the boat light. The emerald in the tiger's eye. 
Lefty released it in the alley, and the bat flew into Daphne's window because it was the only dark one in the hotel. Okay, Shaggy, we'll catch up with you later and get back on the trail of that neon phantom. This is really mysterious. An actual skeleton flying a plane. Then we have to get to the bottom of this mystery and fast. And unless we miss our guess, the WHP monogram on Will Henry Skis stands for Will Henry Pratt. Come on, gang. Let's split up. Now, hold on a second there, mister. We're going after some creepy ghost person, and you want us to split up? Well, yeah. Sure, at first we were thinking, okay, a dog with an Adam's yeah. apple, a little strange. But we got used to it. So when he started talking, it really wasn't a big deal for us. Sure, hop in. And I can't find Gary Coleman anywhere. Try not to wreck it for everyone by showing us the secret passageways. I hope you don't mind, but I, I asked the gang to come along. We've been levitated before, and there's always a magnet or wire somewhere. Aha! I knew it! It's some guy disguised as a pirate ghost trying to scare everyone off the island. Okay. Let's see who's behind all this. You've been reading too many of your own horror stories, Ravencroft. I think Lester's been out painting in the sun too long. Right. Maybe we can find some clues. Nice ascot. <laughs> Works for me. But you also stood to make a quarter million dollars at the science fair. Is there anything you can tell us about the mystery machine that might help? What would you do if your van started driving itself all over town? Well, that's obvious, because it's a sweet ride. Hey, if it weren't for that game, Shaggy couldn't have won us all free tickets to Thrill Rise. Wow! Being a real medieval knight must have been awesome. Jousting and wrestling. And now that we've solved the mystery of the sea serpent smugglers, our vacation should be smooth sailing. Right. That's when you came up with a way to get around those rules and make sure you'd win this year's contest. Sounds great, and I can practice my Spanish. And please accept our apologies, Luis. I have to admit there were times when we questioned your integrity. We were wrong. Legend of the Lock? Get real. It's just another big fake. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Pop. <laughs> wow, what a story. I guess you two will be working on your own for a while. They're still the same old Shag and Scooby. Okay, gang, let's see who those ghosts really are. Scooby? Shaggy? Shaggy? We were called in by the general in command to investigate a ghost report. Okay, general, we're gonna need three buckets of fresh paint, 50 feet of high-test fishing line, and all the mouse traps you can muster. This new cell phone rocks! It's got high-def video, an MP3 player, even satellite GPS. I'm like totally geeking. Wow, what a sweet ride. All it needs is a groovy green paint job. Miss Thelmer is actually a corporate spy. She pretended to be the so-called chemical creep to scare people away while she stole the company's secret formulas. I am so excited to take you guys to my old summer camp. Oh, that's not Camp Little Moose. That's Camp Big Moose. That's Camp Little Moose. Gang, we have a mystery on our hands. Politics, that's adult stuff. You know, kids my age are into traps and solving mysteries. Of course! I love the bloody steak. Make sure and get the Vlad the Impaler cursed chicken and rice. It's to die. I'm sorry, gang. I've just got all of these crazy emotions and I don't know why. Am I upset over my trap not working? Or is it because Daphne's gone? Why can't I just be cold and heartless like other guys? Speaking of clam cones, I see Skipper Shelton isn't around again. Or are you, Skipper? But Run, you're rich, you've got everything. Ladders, ascots, why did you need a diamond? I'm failing science. Mr. Fleischer didn't like my project. So, Velma, you ever gonna reveal our secret vacation destination? I love the circus. You know, I took that circus arts class last summer. I think I really could have mastered the trapeze if I hadn't broken all those bones. The trick is to not fall. Hey, the door's open. Let's just have a little look around. Looks like we have another mystery on our hands. 100. <sighs> Looking good, Freddy. You too, Freddy. Thanks. And so am I. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. It's not something we're really into. Wow. I really don't have to take this suit off? Ever? Not even for... Right. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Conductor. But I think it's about time we met the other players in this game. Who are you people? Wow. This castle is amazing. A relic of a bygone era of heroes, myths, monsters, and plagues. Well, gang, it looks like we have a mystery here on the Emerald Isle. The gang and I are actually out there in the field solving mysteries all the time. The hollow display keeps a visual record and tracks everybody. Maybe somebody didn't want to be tracked in space. That thing is no thing, officer. No, in fact, the crystal crawler is... 
Colson McCready? Because he'd sunk all his money into the Crystal Canopy Tour Company, and you were trying to shut down the caves for good. Maybe we can help. It's like we've got another mystery on our hands. I need some live bait. Hey, thanks for inviting us along to your cousin's place. I think this is our exit. I can't think of any place more fun than right here at the Museum of Archaeology. Hey, we're just as fun as you three. We are fun. Why, just last week, I took us all to that amusement park. It looks like we have another mystery on our hands. Gang, this is my uncle, Bobby Flay. Do you mind if we look around the inn for clues? Let's catch some ghosts. It's busting time. It looks like we have another mystery on our hands. Because right now, it's trapping time. Boy, she's a negative Nelly. The payroll sergeant trapped behind enemy lines buried the gold and made a map to it. It's been lost for over a century. Hold the phone. The fake ghost of Abe Lincoln has a point. If we find the gold, we could use it to lure in the ghost sergeant and trap him. Oh, no. He went around it. Now, Shaggy. Did you know Elvis's ghost landed in this man's backyard in a UFO? And that Bigfoot secretly married the Loch Ness Monster? Al Cabone must be working with the Martians. Aha! Uh -huh. Calling to confess, huh? Wow. Shaggy and Scooby better hurry up or they'll miss the museum tour. Don't worry, Mr. Dayton. The ghost is absolutely, positively, undeniably in this case. <laughs> of course, I could be wrong. Let me handle this. Aha! According to the robot, the missing items are in this locker, number 1216. Ah! Yeah, this could be Zombo's secret headquarters. Mrs. Herring's motorcycle's been stolen, and she hired the Scooby-Doo detective agency to find it. Sure, they don't accept ghosts into the space program. Then you'll activate the conveyor belt, spilling the vat of oil onto the floor. Teamwork. I do a tremendous amount of teamwork, and I always have a plan. Yo, yo, the Piazza was like, what? And I was like, later on, what up, dog? And I thought, man, we got beats like it was the listeners on Earth. You know what I'm saying, G? Fritz has got his groove on. Scrappy, for the thousandth time, there's no such thing as ghosts. He also adapted the false Heather Jasper Howe persona to turn the press against us. And the real identity of Ned is... Ned! Shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. What could possibly happen by ringing a doorbell? You can't fool me with that macho facade. Mm. You're just afraid to show your sensitive side. Oh, and by the way, I already read that one. The old innkeeper did it. It's just a bunch of old letters and papers and stuff. Hey, not bad. Shaggy, Shaggy. calm down, OK? We're going to find her. I guess it started that night at Old Man Frickert's. Oh, I get it. It's just one of those things like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. Come on, guys, let's just get going or we're going to be late. Want no zombies or kooks that kept us on the run. Don't want no dragons or freaks. So don't want no phantom that shrieks. So what happened? Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shaggy and Scooby were taken? What was some guy one with Scooby and Shaggy? What are you doing? You're touching it with bare fingers. Ugh. Anything over 30 is a waste. You have to pay for Netflix? If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.